This is Prophet Adam testimony about 361 chambers of hell. I was taken to hell in a period of 361 days in order to visit the 361 chambers of hell. In John 3:16, the Bible says, "For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life." Brother, the wealth, money and goods of the earth will not save you. The Lord said the attraction entertainment and pleasure of this world is blinding the world population about the reality of the afterlife, but humanity must understand that if the rapture is being delayed death will come like a thief in their lives, beloved, the Lord visited me and showed me the reality of the afterlife, the Lord said, I am showing you this because I want you to go to the world and tell the world the reality of the afterlife and hell that you will see here, so that they will know that there is life after death. I want people that are enjoying life to know that hell is real and it exists and that after death there is another life awaiting humanity, which is either the abode of the dead which is perdition or the kingdom of heaven, brother I have received this mandate from the Lord to testify the reality and truth about the afterlife and the reality of hell. When I came to the Lord Jesus right after my conversion the Lord began to talk to me and warn me that he will take me beyond the grave to see the truth and reality of the afterlife so that I can warn humanity. Years after this promise, I was praying in the night one day, as I continued to pray I sensed that my room was illuminated by an intense light, when I sensed this intense light I decided to open my eyes to check what was happening. The moment I opened my eyes to check the light I fell on the floor, I was on the floor when I heard the powerful voice of the Lord talking to me. The Lord said to me, Aston, I am Jesus Christ your Lord, I have chosen you for I want to take you beyond the grave to see the realities of hell so that you will warn humanity. Then I heard the Lord asking me to stand from the floor, when I stood up I realized that my body was still laying on the ground and it was actually my spirit that stood up. When I left my body I saw the people that were also sleeping in my room, I wanted to wake them up but when I tried to do so, I saw that I could not touch them for I was no longer physical, quickly I went out of my room in the street, when I got to the street I saw many people who were wandering and crying, and I wonder, I saw these people crying and saying, we are not dead, we are alive, why are people crying for us? Brothers, these people that were crying were the dead. Their loved one were crying for them for they were dead, but these deceased souls refused to accept that they were dead, yet their loved one were crying because of their death. Immediately I came to understand that I was also dead like these people, when I realized that I was dead I was shocked, and I began to cry, I cried and I began to pray saying to God, Lord remember me, I served you during my life on the earth. Brother it is when I was praying and asking for mercy that I saw a bright light descending from heaven, the light was shining and descending up to me, when this light descended and reached me, I saw that this light was a man, it was actually the Lord Jesus Christ himself, I knew that it was the Lord because on his forehead there was his name, and on his chest it was written King of King and Lord of Lord, the Lord said to me, Servant, I promised many years ago to take you beyond the grave to see the reality of hell and report to the world. The time has come for you to visit the abode of the deads in order to warn the world, the Lord said, let rise to the mountain so that you can see the world, immediately we rose to the top of the mountain, and I saw that the whole world was covered in total darkness, the Lord asked me, Aston, what are you seeing? I replied, I can't see anything because of the absolute darkness, Straight away the Lord placed a stone on my eyes, as a result I began to see the nations of the world and the world population and many things happening on the earth, the Lord asked me what are you seeing, when I looked I saw people in various places carrying coffins to the cemetery for burial, however I saw the souls of the deads on top of these coffin, I saw a man whose body was in the coffin, the man was trying to talk to the people mourning for him, he told them, why are you trying to bury my body, I am not dead, I am alive and I am alright, this man told the crowds, stop crying for me, I am alive, however I saw that no one could hear this man, at that moment the Lord began to show me the death of many people including pastors, musicians and president, the souls of these people were wandering the earth before going to the abode of the deads, I saw people dying and drowning, 
in electric hazard and traffic accident, their souls were wandering the earth and attending their funeral, I stood with the Lord on top of this mountain, quickly I saw a traffic accident in the city, later, I came to understand that this traffic accident that I was witnessing had already happened not long ago in our city, many people died in that accident, but the Lord wanted me to see what had happened in the aftermath of this traffic accident, I saw that after the accident many passengers were dead, when I looked again I saw that the souls of these passengers stood around the bus that had crashed, these souls were all watching the bus and their bodies that had received shocked and fatal injury, these people who were dead in the accident were watching their bodies in shock for they realized that they were dead, while the living were crying for those who had died in the accident, the deceased soul were trying to tell the living that they are alive they are not dead, and while these deceased souls were trying to talk to the living, I saw a celestial vehicle that was beaming great light descending towards the boulevard where the accident happened, I saw that in the heavenly vehicle there were angels dressed in white and they were singing a song, that said, everything in this world will pass away, may the Lord be glorified, in the meantime, I heard a deceased soul among the dead saying, I cannot die now, I just got married and my wife know that I went to work, I heard dead men and women who were father and mother saying, we cannot die, for we are the one who look after our family, who will look after our children, however, I notice among the dead a lady, who was not complaining about the fact that she had died, yet her body was torn and destroyed completely in this bus, this lady was full of rapture of joy, she was dressed in a white garment and she was worshipping the Lord, the lady said, the judgment and justice of God has been fulfilled in my life, and while she was in rapture of joy, I saw the angels of the Lord heading to her and they embark her in the celestial vehicle, and they flew upward to the kingdom of heaven, they were celebrating in the celestial car, I asked the Lord, these bright angels took just the lady and everybody else was left behind, the Lord said these people did not have the mark of God which is the Holy Spirit that is why they could not rise to the heavenly, then the Lord showed me how the man of God the evangelist Adina had died, I saw the angel of the Lord appearing to the father of the evangelical revival of our country, telling him that he must prepare himself for death is coming, few days after the warning of the angel the man of God died and he was gathered by the angels of the Lord who took him to the celestial world, brothers, the very moment the angel transported this lady to the heavenly world, I saw dark demons showing up and landing around the site of the accident right in front of the deceased souls, these demons captured these people who have died in this traffic accident, as they have captured these people, I saw these demons collecting the blood of the victim that was spilled in the bus when the accident happened, as these demons were collecting the blood in the bus, the Lord told me, these demons come from a world of Satan which is a dimension controlled by the code 999, Jesus said there are many realm of Satan, there is another satanic world controlled by the code 333, this is actually a realm and dimension of witches and wizards, which is based on jealousy and wickedness, there is another satanic world controlled by the code 555, this world of Satan controlled by the code 555 produced and controlled the food that humanity eat and the clothes that people wear including many items used on the surface of the earth, there is also a world of Satan functioning with the code 666 that controlled the earth and caused humanity to dwell in sin, there is another world of Satan ruled by the code 777, however, the kingdom of Satan controlled by the code 999 is all about human blood, Jesus said, whenever human blood is spilled one way or another on this earth, demon would come from the dark world controlled by the code 999 in order to collect the blood, quickly the Lord showed me a man that was shaved in the barber, when he was slightly injured by the razor, quickly a demon of the 999 world came and collected the dot of blood that was spilled from this injury, afterward I saw a woman arranging her hair and she accidentally injured herself, as a result another demon of the 999 kingdom showed up and took that blood, blood is used to advance the kingdom of demon, beloved, the blood of the dead and living are collected by demons of this kingdom when a man or woman is injured, brother, I stood with the Lord Jesus before the site of the accident, 
where demons had captured the souls of the deads and were collecting the blood that was spilled in the bus. Afterward I saw these demon rising in space with these captive souls, after rising in space they finally began to descend with these captives. They were descending to the center of the earth in great speed, the Lord Jesus told me, servant we have to follow them, while we follow these demons, at that very moment I saw the death of a pastor in the city, this was a satanic pastor, when he died I saw his soul being captured by demon and he joined the souls that were captured by these demons in chains. They were all descending to hell, as we were descending to the center of the earth, I saw twelve opening all over the globe, the Lord said these are the twelve gateways leading to the abode of the deads, they are the twelve entry of hell, when people die on the earth they are either drawn to the twelve gate of heaven or the twelve opening of the earth leading them to the twelve gate of hell, and when we arrive in the center of the earth, Brother I saw thousands and countless of souls in a queue before a gate, upon which it was written the gate of hell, I saw that these numerous souls were holding in their hand something that looked like a CD, and before the gate of hell there was a demon in the name of Nickel, he is the destroyer Apollyon, this demon was holding a huge book with the name of the lost souls standing before him in the queue, the demon was seated on a throne and calling the names of the deads. I saw that these people who had died and landed before the gate of hell were overwhelmed, they were stunned, dumbfound and in terror, they were restless and complaining, they could not accept that they had died and they fell to this place, for these people that were surprised by death could remember their loved ones and family, their house and children and life on the earth, they could not accept that they had died and they are separated from their loved one, brother in hell you will remember your wife and husband your family and friends, I saw that whenever this demon called the name of a soul in the queue, the disc was taken from his hand and his whole life was projected on a huge screen, the Lord said, this CD you see in the hand of the deceased souls is called testament of existence, before the birth of men on the earth, God gives souls of men this testament of existence and he instruct all the souls coming to earth to keep his law for all their deeds will be written and recorded in the testament of existence, it is this testament of existence that allowed the world of Satan to broadcast people lives and action on the screen, beloved, among the people in the queue, I saw a child of nine years old, he was crying and saying I am a child, I should not be here, the child was crying the name of his parent, quickly the demon took the disc from his hand and the life of the child was projected, I watched on the screen his life on the earth, I saw a scene where his mother instructed him to clean the plate for he had finished eating, but the child refused to do so and went to play, it is when he went to pee after playing that he slided in the bathroom and fell, he was hospitalized and he died in the hospital, the Lord could not receive his soul in heaven and he fell to this place, after this demon had broadcast the life of this child on screen he threw his soul in hell, then I saw a woman of our city, she was a Christian and she kept saying to herself, I should not be here, I am a Christian, I go to church and I tried hard to fear the Lord, I always tried to please the Lord why am I here, then the demon took her CD and screened her life, when her life was projected on the screen, I saw a scene where she was cooking, but she had a problem with her cauldron, and coals, since her neighbor who was her friend went out and left her cauldron with her coals boiling her food, this lady went on to use her friend cauldron and coals while she was absent without permission, she did everything on the back of her friend, she thought it was no big deal, since she used someone property without asking the owner permission, accusation were raised against her dot because she used someone property without asking the authorization and permission, in fact, I saw her friend cauldron beside her, and there was voices of accusation against this woman who was shocked that this act led her to this place, the lady was asking what wrong did I do, the demon of hell told her, lady, you use someone property without asking for permission, it is illegal, you should have asked, even if she was your friend, the gate of hell was opened and the lady was cast in the fire, then I saw a man who was also condemned for using his neighbor soap without permission, the man thought it was no big deal it's just a soap, failing to realize there was accusing spirit in the afterlife, another brother was condemned for using his neighbor as a without asking, as a result there was accusation, and he was condemned, all these people in the queue were forced inside the gate of hell, brother, 
Every man living on the earth has a testament of existence where all his deeds are written, and when we die our lives will be screen on the big screen thanks to the testament of existence, when we enter the gate of hell, brother. I saw a huge flame I mean I saw a huge volcano and a huge fire, indeed, when people enter the gate of hell, I saw that they were falling in the sea of lava, inside the volcano, I asked the Lord about this place, the Lord told me that this was the reception of hell, brother this place was a massive volcano with huge lava boiling and bubbling in high temperature, and there were thousands and numerous people inside the lava of this enormous volcano. I saw countless souls inside the lava of this huge and massive volcano, don't go to hell beloved, I saw that these people were completely calcinated they were skeletal and worms were all over them. The Lord said, when people fall in hell they first fall in this place before being transported to their respective chamber, and there are 361 chambers in hell, these souls were crying and gnashing their teeth in this place, the torment was beyond imagination and the darkness was really thick, bowls of fire from the earth, as we move and this place I saw the damned souls running away and I wonder, I came to see that they were running from a rain of bowls of fire, the Lord told me that this rain of bowl of fire come from the earth, it is written in Psalm 11 verse 6 comma on the wicked he will rain fiery coals and brimstone, a scorching wind will be their portion, for the Lord is righteous, he loves justice, the upright will see his face people were hiding from this rain of fire, the Lord explain why this rain of fire fall in this place, there was a woman who was a good person of a good characters, she was a widow and she has managed to raise her children despite all the problems, it was unanimous that she was a good person, however this woman had hidden sin, she resorted to prostitution by selling her body in order to raise her children, and when she died, people in her funeral were praising her for her good characters, but these words of praise were coming to this lady in the form of rain of fire, many people in hell complain and asked people in the world to stop praising them for their words come in the form of rain of fire, among these people suffering from the rain of fire were gospel singer who were praised and complimented by people on the earth, wherever people testify their good behaviors on earth the rain of fire were burning them, and demons were laughing at them. The pain in this place was beyond understanding this torment is unbearable, I was around this huge volcano and lava that is called the reception of hell, when suddenly a wind of fire rose from the horizon, this wind burned these lost souls that were trying to hide, the Lord said, you will tell the world to avoid this place, it is not a place to be it is unbearable, the torment is beyond imagination, brother hell is gruesome, you will burn but there is no redemption for the flame of fire would become part of your existence. There was this wind of fire burning lost souls in this place, and when the wind was blowing, I saw that a figure was controlling and steering this wind of fire, I saw this human identity emerging behind this wind of fire, I could read on his forehead an inscription that said the Lord of evil, I asked the Lord who is this man that is coming in the wind of fire, the Lord said, this is the devil, the adversary of God and men. I saw the devil talking to the demons who were laughing and mocking the damned souls that were burned in the wind of fire, the devil said to his demon, my servant, behold the so called image and likeness of God, these people were made in the image and likeness of God. But look at what they have become, for they now look like skeleton, they look like corpses rotting covered with worms, yet they were made in the image and likeness of God, the devil was laughing at these souls and he asked them. Is it not true that your God made you in his image, now look at what you have become, you are now skeletal, has your God made you in this shape, just look at you, at that time I saw the people begging the devil who was heartless, Satan said to these lost souls, you people were rejecting me and despising me in your life, but with your action and deeds you were following me, for you were doing my bidding though you hated me, you never follow the way of the God you claim to love and follow all your lives you claim to love God, and you lived your lives doing my bidding, instead of the will your God, yet you claim to love him and reject me, you cannot love God and walk in my ways, if you really love God you would have done his will and obey his command, when you love God you do his bidding and walk in his way, but you did my will all your life, at that time I saw the lost souls telling the devil, we never rejected you we never scorned you, we praised you, brother. 
I saw these lost souls praising the devil in order to get his mercy. However the devil told these lost souls, Rejoice for this is your kingdom for eternity to eternity, since you chose to live doing my will, this is your rewards and your kingdom forever. Then these souls were taken from the reception of hell which was a volcano to their respective chambers, for they were 361 chambers of hell.